five 30 point wins and four more 20 point wins. Was it good late in the season to see you guys get a little bit tested by a team that's pretty decent and you guys uh, respond the way you did? I mean, it was nine, then it was two, it was 10, then it was one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think anybody would tell you that um, <clears throat> we knew that they were good and um, it was good that they challenged us. But most important, it was good that we um, we answered the, the call and um, we played them a little differently than we played them the first time. And, you know, we recognized that they were attacking us a lot. So we went to zones, uh, which were, were helpful. And I thought that uh, we did a nice job. You have 21 wins, but do you have the sense where you still need to do more? You mean to get into the yeah, NCA? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think I you can. You're not comfortable. No, I don't think that you can be. Um, you know, uh, there's a number of teams that um, I don't know where our RPI is in the 50s, and normally we have RPIs that are 10 and less. So how could I be comfortable? I don't know what to expect. Uh, it's just important one not only that we win, but it's important that we w we have impressive winning margins. Um, I think that. Um, Last week we lost and uh, we went up in the polls. I'm not sure about that, how that happened. Um, but I think that there are a lot of people that are watching, um, and I did talk with a reporter after, and a number of people that are voting uh, get a chance to see the game. And so contrary to the score, I think that they know it's not quite as bad as, as it may look. Um, but at this particular point, the only thing that's going to count now are the next two games, um, UConn, and uh, USF and then what we do in a tournament. And I think that everything will be determined really after after the tournament. Uh, to the players, uh, was it frustrating, uh, kind of going off his question, to not be able to pull away in the second half? You have nine points and then, you know, like you said, you be within one, uh, one possession of them. I mean, yeah, it's a little frustrating. But at the end of the day, we have to realize that everything's not going to be easy. And we have to be able to respond to adversity, and I think that that's what we did. Though it's not our, our, our ideal position, we still came out with the win, so that's all we needed. But Nigel, what kind of spark did Ariel Butts give you in that? I mean, she, she ends up with eight and eight, and I think she had all of it in the first, like, ten minutes. Yeah, she, she did a great job. She, you know, she's been working really hard in practice. And so I think what she's doing in practice is being displayed in the games. And it was really good to see that we have, that we're versatile in the post. So we, ha we have two different, well, we have three different body types, three different styles of play. And so it's good to be able to have someone else in there that can also get it done. Cool. Kalia, what? You know what, uh, Kalia, could, could you talk about that stretch near the, near the end of the game when you scored six straight points to, you know, kind of, kind of keep him at bay? Did you you know, purposely, you know, be, be more aggressive in that, uh, in that um, <clears throat> uh, I, I didn't mean for it to come out like that. It just did. I mean, um, I was trying to get stay on the glass and um, keep us up. Coach, uh, what can you say about Tyler's play, not only in this game, but in the past few weeks? <laughs> I mean, she's, she's been – she's, she's – uh, <laughs> I just smile when I, I look at her. She's going. She's getting better. She's a, she's a great scoring threat, and um, we like that she's playing much more consciously on the, on the defensive side of things. Um, and um, you know, the last time that she played um, against Temple, we only played her for about seven or eight minutes. Um, she had a, like a migraine. Um, didn't tell us. I knew that something was crazy and wrong, but um, she. Um, I'm really impressed with her as a freshman. Um, but, you know, the challenge is, and uh, it's interesting because a lot of people like surprising you. That, that is that uh, when you give them something and then, um, then there's a difference between surprising you and giving them something special and then uh, expecting it. Um, Tyler has come, she knows that we expect for her to uh, just score in double digits. Um, again, she's got to have a little more discretion. Uh, and to hear other voices not be so tunnel vision uh, that she makes the easy pass. Uh, she had a little difficulty today doing that, and uh, that's going to cost us. But um, you can't say enough about her as a freshman because she is very consistent. That much we can say. Do you ever worry that she's going to tire herself out when she you know, stays back and tries to get the ball instead of uh, falling back on defense? 
you know what? That's what she's supposed to be doing. She's supposed to be getting back and falling back on defense. I'm, not only are we worried, when we're seeing that, we're taking her out of the game. Because her job is not to, 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 to you know, like she only is supposed to be rebounding from the, from the um, defensive side of it, you know, but um, on the offensive side, she's got to get back. Uh, she and Essie, uh, I think that you know Essie is, she would be a terror on the board. She, she loves rebounding, but she's little. So we need the two of them to, 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 to be back. But uh, I do think that Tyler has been much more conscious. Um, she had six or seven rebounds before, and she got three, but she's got to do. So <coughs> just continue to ask everybody to improve. That's all. Coach, kind of a lighthearted question, but what do you think of this? Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. That is really crazy. I never understood those bobblehead, those caricatures. Mm -hmm. I never understood those. They gave those out today, huh? What do you uh, think of the likeness? Oh, isn't that sure. Well, the shoes are kind of old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't wear shoes like that, but yeah, it's it's nice. Oh God! <laughs> wow! Oh jeez! That's all that goes, huh? Girls, what do you think of it? Oh wow! Look like look like the coach, you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow! I, th th those are supposed to be, but aren't they supposed to be bobbling? Like really bobble? It's not bobbling. <laughs> is it an honor, Coach? It, uh, yeah, it, yeah. It's 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 special. I mean, uh, I continue to be amazed. Um, this is pretty special. Wow. I, I that's the first time I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that. That's 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 pretty special. Um, is it, this yours? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Where can I get one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Uh, Coach, just what uh, can you tell your team going into the UConn game uh, that, you know, they learned from the last Well, I, there were a few things that were major that we know. I mean, major, it, it sticks out in our, all of our minds. So it didn't have to be that way, not like that. Um, and so I, I think that we've made that adjustment already. So um, we'll continue to do that. I think what's most important is they, they just need to rest you know, get ice baths, rest, and uh, not think about it, and take advantage of tomorrow. And uh, we'll approach it Friday and, and you know, see how things go. Uh, but what is key is that as we go into the last couple of games, that every player, that we are confident that we can count on people doing different things, you know. Um, and uh, I, I've seen enough this year that um, there's at least eight, nine, and maybe even ten, ten people. That, that are giving us a certain part of the game. And that's, that's important, that's encar encouraging, because then um, we can, the players do not have to feel that um, they have to stay in there too long to the point where they start messing up. They should be quick to, to work real hard, come out, get a breather, and, and go back in. And it's just like a relay race, because at, at the championship levels, um, when you're playing back-to-back -back games um, and then traveling the distances that we are, if you have five people, I don't care how good they are, they're not going to be able to sustain. So we've got to be happy and encouraging for each person to do what they're supposed to do and, um, and, and, and see if we can, as a team, um, you know, win another game and then take care of it and not look too far ahead. Just be the best team on that day and see what, what happens. So uh, it was good. Temple was a good team. Um, we didn't take them lightly at all. And uh, we played hard, and, and that's good, and that's encouraging. We'll forget about it, and now we're try to focus on UConn and USF. Kelly, did you feel like that was the kind of test you guys needed to get ready as the postseason near, nears? Yes, it was, it was definitely a good test. It was good because we fought through the adversity. Even though we were um, the game was so close, we kept fighting and kept coming, kept pulling it out. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.